Welcome back there, everybody, and we're after Flame, because she's been kidnapped, apparently, by the Death Knight, so, Marianne, what do you need? Are you just playing for Fra Praying for Flane? <laughs> a herb's fit for a horse? Oh, that's right, you need to help out Dorte. Oh, Dorte's friend's gonna have a baby? Okay. Awesome. Who can I help? Looks like Lawrence. I typically decorate with red roses when I host a tea party, but lately I'm considering uh, the virtual uh, the virtues of variety. Do you think any of any thoughts about any flowers I might try? Uh, the small baby's breath? Ew. Oh, that's a flower. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what? Uh... Hmm. White lilies? Okay. <laughs> Pleasant and charming. I just kind of thought that's what you want. There's just a drawing of what student looks like <laughs> throwing trash on the ground. Yeah, that's a trash bin, Sorrel. Jeez. Could have just said that out flat. Come on, Sorrel. Oh, the choir festival today. Let's see if we can have um, a net. That's right. We want to recruit a net. And let's see if we can have... Let's see if Why not? We can have these two and we can all raise our faith magic. Da, da, da. Plus, these two get along well. I'm not Seeing very good at singing, to be honest. Sorry, Usually I do it when I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, look at that. My faith is almost D+. Plus. Awesome. Also, I did find out there is going to be some uh, did you hear about no more DLC, and you'll be able to it's pet pets. You'll be able to pet the dogs and the swear. cats later, which is really cool. Some of the lower-ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. All right. What? Awesome. Maritza? Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. Yo, I wonder if what he is. What would make you suspect him? Death Knight. I don't know. He wears a mask. <laughs> the mask he wears is suspicious. Well, I'll let the knights know. Okay. Um. Sure. And then let's have a quick tournament. Maybe at who acts? Can we get Hilda to win? Come on, Hilda. You got this. I said recommended level twelve or higher though. She's level eleven. Okay. Come on, Hilda. You can do this. I trust you. I put but, in some work. Wait, hold on. Did she miss an attack or did she get missed on? She yes, okay, they missed against her. I was confused for a moment. Okay. That one hit. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Hold up, come on. You only have three more to go, it's okay. Let's see. Um same about at least I think it's seventy two rather than seventy one. Man, she's dodging those seventies. Hold up, stop complaining. Come on! You can win this! Look at this, you got this. You got this, Hilda, come on. Look at this. Okay, I, I didn't think you were gonna get hit, whatever. It's fine. Hilda, stop. You said that like eight times. <laughs> All right, here, it's the final fight, Hilda. That's, this is it. You just gotta win this one. If you don't win, I'm gonna be a little sad. Let's see. As long as you don't miss, you'll, be, you'll win. Don't miss this attack. There we go, Hilda, you won, see? Okay, there you go. That's better. Don't say, don't complain about being sweaty anymore. There we go. Congratulations, Hilda. You got us a Steel Axe Plus, and that's probably gonna go straight to you. So good job, Hilda. Oh, uh, there's a student. Are you the one with the crush on Alois? Um, okay. Yes, I think it is. Uh, Sorrel, what's up? just disappeared. I don't like it one little bit. Me neither. Oh, can you shut up, Faye? Uh, oh, uh, oh, that's right, the gift. The love letter's for well, you. Thanks, <laughs> He's not too happy about it, though. Impressive. Hi. Nice work. It looks like it spooked him a bit. That's too bad. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I don't think he liked it very much. Leonie, what do you think? Have gone. Do you think she's really been kidnapped? Uh, most Tomas likely. Tomas has been going around asking about her. Good but for him. he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Mm, so it yeah. wasn't just Flame. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Really? Uh, okay. If Flame Hi, were taken hostage, I expect we would have received demands from the culprit by now. Perhaps um, this is not a kidnapping at all. Do you suppose she could have simply run away? No, that's not like Flame. I don't what think so. What could it be, then? What possible motive could there be to abduct her? Well, I have some sort of idea, but I'm not gonna say it. Flame Petra, any ideas? Matt. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Most likely. Hmm. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Who? Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Oh. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of Warriors of Bridget. Before How she was so? here, what was she getting up to? Uh, I'm not sure, but I know Rhea trusts her for sure. Um, we do have an owl feather this for you, though. 
Yeah, I know you like those. I found one just lying around. Ignatz, I've only you okay? ever spoken to Flame a handful of times. Uh -huh. She always seems so naive about the ways of the world. I'm worried about her. Uh, can she be yes. easily deceived? I'm afraid so. Yeah. I just hope she comes home safe. Honestly, I think she would be too. No Claude, what's up? for leaving the monastery, huh? That is, assuming we can actually trust that information. Uh huh. Oh, but I'm sure this space has no shortage of secret passages and hiding spots. Yeah. True. You're right. For now, there's not much we can do aside from making a thorough search of the monastery. And that's well, exactly what I've been doing. Let's see what we turn up. You never know who might have seen something. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask let's you do that know? indeed. Any ideas, Hanneman? Flame's disappearance is most troubling. Uh huh. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. Okay then. Um, is her crest rare enough to justify Flame's kidnapping her? Crest, the major crest of Sethleen is rare, but there are others who possess it. Like who? Oh, okay. Never mind. Is it okay, Tomas. What do you know about this? I see. So Flame has gone missing. I thought I you already knew that. I can to support the search. Weren't you already asking about it? But okay. It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? Your sleeves are literally five feet long, I swear. Why were you asking I was about Flane? from the monastery for a few years, but do not forget. What? I have spent more than four decades in total working here at Garrick Mock Monastery. Yet and you're saying that... recently that I learned that Seteth has a sister. It is okay. natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. Whatever you say, Tomas. Mariana, I almost forgot to give you the Dorte's friend's herb thing. Okay, awesome. How are you holding up, Sedith? Uh, not well, I'm assuming. Yeah. I'll find her, Sedith. Please, lend me your aid. Yep, even if you don't trust me, I'll make sure to find her. Why is there not a trace of her to be found? It's okay, just stay calm here. Enjoy this owl feather. This is wonderful. <laughs> there he smiles and now he's back to Uh Flane. <laughs> Any ideas, Dad? Of Flane's disappearance. All of the knights are searching nonstop. Including you? Found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. Yeah, I just What's talked that? to him. You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. Oh yeah, she they were saying she was missing. Something. A mask of some sort. A mask? Hmm. Your reads his mask? To the guy, so I can't say for sure. But come to think of it, he could be right. Okay. Interesting. Lysithia, any ideas? Now, Flame has always seemed a rather odd person. Yeah, she, she is kind of funny. Young, yet there's something about her that seems much older than her years suggest. And she's quite wise. But also surprisingly naive. That's flying spot on. Besides the fish, uh, maybe she's a very, very sheltered Would life. Be right. Whatever the case, Sedith seems to care for her more than anything. Yeah, even more than owl feathers. I mean, seriously. Claude, I got some ideas. You reach this suspicious, to say the least. I think you should ask him directly. He should be at the training grounds or in his quarters. Yeah. Let's see about that. Professor Manuela ran off with Professor Yuritz's mask. What could that possibly mean? Well, Not really that's sure, but suspicious. sounds like we should try talking to them. Yeah, Professor let's Yuritsa go. Is almost certainly in the training grounds or in his quarters. Where was that again? Oh, over on the eastern side of the Knights Hall. Yeah, let's maybe go check that out. But before that, we have some supports to do. So Mercedes, yes, let's chat with Mercedes. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it. Indeed, that is correct. I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the academy are enriching thanks to you. Aw, thanks, not Mercedes. To tax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. Nah, that's cool. I'm gonna grab that dinner after this. Might you if you rely on others for help, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, it's cool. But even so, I gotta keep up the work. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. Oh. To be perfectly honest. I had my doubts when I first met you. Sounds like everyone did. <laughs> Why is that though? At first, <laughs> no expression. I you too young to be a professor. It is unusual you have Wow, am I not old enough like Hanneman? He's like 500 years old. Mature despite your age. <laughs> You're strong-willed, encouraging, 
and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But I mean, that's my job. It's like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. I mean, uh, I'm not trying too hard. I don't want to be if perfect, but. Feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. Oh, don't worry. I take breaks. Has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. Yeah, In that's case, right. I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. <laughs> mistakes, huh? Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Maybe you need Just a calendar. Day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Loungewear? Oh, uh, <laughs> well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. Yes, you do, okay. You might end up in a pretty bad place. Uh, maybe. Reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If um, it's you, I'd like to help in any way I can. You know, there's a Chick fil A nearby, so um, if you want to just run down there and grab me a chicken Whatever sandwich. Mean, and... <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the Chick fil A just. It's right on down the street. Come on, just go down there, grab my, grab a chicken sandwich, and just, you know, just pass it to me, whatever. How Claude is doing? Okay, let's chat with Claude. Hey, teach. Hold on a minute, okay? I'm gonna have this cleared up in no time. Your room? Uh, you need a hand, Claude? Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll be finished soon. I'm just in the middle of mixing up a new poison. Oh, I see. And... Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me, Claude. Why are you making poison? You wanna tell me? What do you think okay. of that, Teach? A colorless, odorless poison. Say, care to test it out for me? Um, on myself? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, really? Actually, I was just kidding. If you drink this, in two days' time, you'll have terrible, uh, let's call it stomach trouble. Okay, Claude, what are you up to? Teach, why the delay? That's so it can be used even if you don't have access to the target when you need the poison to take effect. I see. I'm <laughs> just oh, so disappointed. I no immediate plans for this stuff. I suppose I just felt like broadening the old horizons a bit. When okay, then. Screens, it's best to have as many options at your disposal as possible. Expanding those options is kind of a hobby for me. Okay, but I've never really... I never really see you do much schemes, but why such a dangerous hobby, Claude? Well, I grew up in an environment where it was necessary to think that way. That's like I told okay. you before. I wasn't born into a life of luxury. Yeah, you did hint at that, Since but... Since I was a child, I've always been seen as different from those around me. An outsider of sorts. Yeah, you always say don't mess I've with outsiders when you kill hand. people. There have even been attempts on my life. I huh. believe I've earned such treatment, but that's how it goes for people like me. I see. I don't think of you as an outsider, though. You seem pretty cool, Claude. Thanks, Teach. You know, in many ways, I'm just a normal person like everyone else. But in the right environment, anyone could be seen as an outsider. Yeah, it scapegoats. Overwhelming. And that's why I kept running, kept fighting. As a kid, I, I spent a lot of time licking my wounds and coming up with schemes. <laughs> I keep my nose out of trouble while plotting against my enemies. My parents okay, always so that's told why me I got so sneaky. If I didn't learn to fight my own battles, and so in the oh. end, I did. Okay. I grew up to be as independent and self-reliant as my parents always wished for me to be. Lucky me, right? You don't sound too happy about that, though, but you've been through a lot, Claude. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, it must be you, eh, Teach? I get the feeling you know what it's like to be an outsider. Well, considering well, I didn't even heard the church until you, a while ago. You weren't like everyone else. People don't care for folks like that. You do well to watch your back. Well, everyone right seems side, to be okay with me sticking around here. So interesting. All right, then. And Hilda. Sure, let's talk with Hilda. What are you gonna try and force me to do this time? There are a lot of hardworking people here at the academy, huh? Yes, unlike oh, you. God. He acts carefree, but secretly he's so serious. Yeah, Everybody I know. I was just chatting with him. Training without even needing to be told. Yes, Maybe. but you I must protect my friends, even if I have to risk my neck. Yeah, they're all awesome and noble and nice. You won't protect your friends, Hilda? Come on. Of I'll try to protect them, but try I don't to understand why anyone would want to risk their life for someone else. When you um, die, because they no love them. How you died, it's over. I mean, to me, fair it's enough, but still. To enjoy life, 
We only live once after all. Don't it's yell at me, Hilda. Spend all your time working and being responsible, right? I uh, 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 no, Hilda. You gotta actually well, work and no do stuff. What people may think I'm going to keep being me. So but maybe you should battle, change just a I'll little bit. Everyone from the sidelines. No, you don't get to decide that. No, I'm just like no. Uh, come on, please. <laughs> no, Hilda. How about I do something for you as a way of saying thanks? Saying oh, thanks I for know. what? I'll let you join me for dinner in the city. Um, Everyone would are you be paying? Jealous, you know, they'd all love to spend time with me. I don't really want to spend okay, time with you, to be just honest. Think on it. Sorry, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want your laziness to rub off on me. <laughs> I'm already lazy enough. We got a handful of other supports to do before we continue on with this ah, Yuritsa thing. Here's yet another option. What? Lawrence, what are you up to, Lawrence? Oh no, these two again. Oh, no, I'm using these pieces to represent soldiers on the battlefield. This will allow me to better visualize concepts of strategy. It's Very actually pretty good. intelligent. Is it fun? Oh, it is utterly engrossing. <laughs> Look, swap out just certain pieces for others, and the board completely changes. Like then, archers? considering the same types of units, employing different individuals calls for a new set of plans. Oh, That's so I true. See. Or, I kind of see. It's hard for me to grasp really complex things like this. It's not that Nonsense. complex, Hilda. It's thanks to your many requests that I've been adapting my fighting style of late. Working Many requests. You Jesus, he's asked her more than twice. How essential Come on, it is to rethink tactics on a continual basis. After all, the risk of getting hurt is greatly reduced if you are prepared for any situation. So yeah, I mean, I, I will be ready for kinda did that with the last episode's battle. Hold on. It's just like what? Lawrence, you're so wonderful. I'm at a loss for <laughs> words. I'm not just saying that to flatter you either. Honestly. Uh. Tell me something, Hilda. Did you make all of these ludicrous requests of me purely so that I might have the opportunity to develop myself? No, Lauren, don't so, you dare. I am deeply moved. She's just lazy, Lauren. So and passionately for my No, she's growth. just lazy. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> Hilda, how dare you? If you will permit me to return the favor, I do have one request to make of you. Will you hear me out? Oh. Uh, I'm not usually one for fielding requests, but I can make an exception in your case, I suppose. Exception? I what the so frick? He's done so much for you. Opportunity to observe you in action in the heat of battle. Would you be so kind as to oblige me? Oh yeah, now you're oh, stuck, Hilda. Very well, you've convinced me. But if it gets too intense, you'll help me out, right? What the frick? I'm gonna force her to go to into battle anyway, so it's not like she's even doing him a favor. What the heck? Ignatz and Claude. Okay, Ignatz is—is is he praying? No, he's not praying. Hey, That's Ignatz. right. Getting lost in your imagination again? Oh, it's last no, time he made fun of an old lady. Oh, okay, he is praying. All right. That if I pray with all my might, she will appear before me. I don't think that's how it works, but. Yes. Perhaps it's strange to think about such things. Nah, Maybe. Fine. If I had the chance to meet the goddess, I certainly wouldn't say no. I don't think Especially anyone would. version but... of the goddess, huh? A total looker, isn't that right? <laughs> that's a disrespectful way of putting it. Disrespectful. I just believe that she's a divine beauty. Yeah, Ignatz She'd isn't just be, about a. Uh... Considering how she mesmerized the people of Fodlin when she walked among them. Too uh -huh. true. No doubt an incomparable beauty, that one. Funny to think that even now she must be somewhere, right? Well, I guess she's just floating on a cloud or whatnot. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Watching over us from above. And they say that someday she will return to walk amongst us again. Well, don't mind okay. me. Okay. You go ahead and get some good praying in. If the goddess appears, you let me know, okay? <laughs> He'll come no. running. If she does appear, I want it to just be the goddess and me. It'll be way okay. better if I'm there too. I'm saying this for your benefit, Ignatz. <laughs> Imagine an incomparable beauty standing before you. Do you really think you'll be able to remain calm? <laughs> uh, well, that is to say... But if I'm there, I can smooth things over. Have a nice chat, invite her to tea, everything a goddess deserves. Oh my gosh, Claude, oh. shut up. <laughs> well, I suppose that makes sense. What the heck? It does. Now, get on with it. Pray like you've never prayed before. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, Ignatz and Mercedes. Then. You're in a hurry. Is something the matter? Uh, the professor wants us to gather at the training grounds. 
didn't you hear? Yeah, hurry up, guys! Hurry up! I'm waiting on um, you! Are you sure you want to wait? I can hear the professor calling. Ignat! Until after the lunch hour. We have plenty of time. <laughs> oh, I guess so. I was just panicking a bit. No, I'm still yelling at you! I'm like you. How are you so on? Look to your left, I'm over here! <laughs> Rushing around right, doesn't help, does it? I mostly try to stay out of everyone's way. There's no point in overexerting yourself. Anything that needs doing will get done eventually. Um. Huh. So okay. that's the secret to happiness. That sounds like something Hilda would say. But it's not nearly as philosophical as you make it sound. I no, guess. It's perfect. I feel like I don't quite fit in with other people. So How come, in Ignat? Situations like this. Where I have to talk to someone, I panic a little. All right. Please teach me how to be as calm and collected as you are. Honestly, Ignatz, you're making this out to be much bigger than it is. I mostly just don't pay attention. Yeah, because you can't see you me to the left of you. Trouble than it's worth. <laughs> but you always seem so happy. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ignatz. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. Come on, let's head to the training grounds. I may slow you down now. Finally! Right. You don't have to rush. Yes, hurry! Oh, I'm, I'm sitting anyway. over. See you there. Goodness, don't strain yourself. Ignat, what the frick took you so long? Is that? Yes, it is. It is Raphael. Raphael? Yes, it is. He's talking to a bird, I assume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. But you can't be so picky. Was he actually? Oh. You need some meat in your diet. I don't know if you can eat human food, but bug meat might be good for you. Bug, well, birds that's eat right. bugs, that's right. You need to eat plenty of bug meat if you want to get big and strong like me. No more sweets for you. Yeah, he's definitely talking what? to some bird. He's talking to a bird? What? You oh, do that too, Raphael. Or, <laughs> Mary, what? what? Um. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, Marianne, you're right on time. This little birdie was telling me that he misses you. And, uh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What? Oh. <laughs> I think you got you too excited. Why do you think birds fly away when there's more than one person around? Ooh. Birds never seem to stay put unless I'm alone. That's birds odd. Birds are very cautious creatures. They tend to fly away when they're startled. You Maybe. mean they're afraid of loud noises? <laughs> As he said, he gets louder. Oops. That was probably yeah. Birds. <laughs> Come on, Raphael. Keep it down. <laughs> How's this? Do you think we'd be able to talk to birds together like this? I still haven't met a bird that can speak human. I was hoping <laughs> you could so introduce me. It sounds like he's whispering, but he sounds so I raspy. We were just talking to one. I was mostly talking at him, not to him. He just said chirp chirp and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I had no idea what he was talking about. I don't think he understood me either. <laughs> <laughs> Marianne, you always know which birds understand what you're saying, right? Next time you find a bird who understands you, I hope you let me know so I can join the conversation. Oh, Raphael. <laughs> I don't think. Now what am I supposed to do? I, say, I don't think she genuinely talks to them. I think she just, like, knows their mannerisms and knows what they want by those mannerisms, I guess. A little closer. Uh, Leonie, how are you saying that without hey, moving Leonie, your mouth? <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, come on. What'd you do that for? What? Do what? Oh, you ran my quarry off. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> you were hunting? Is the dining hall that short on food supplies? No, but I like to hunt every now and again. Keep my skills sharp. I, say, I think she's from a hunting so, village. So, yeah. You're from a family of hunters, right? Well, there's no shortage of prey to hunt around here. <laughs> Such as you! <laughs> Not many hunters around the monastery, huh? Rivers full of fish, trees bursting with fruit, mushrooms ready to harvest all over. Mushroom it's hunting, dude. Kind of I would love to go really mushroom hunting. Guess we can thank the goddess for that. Uh, I don't know. I'm more inclined to thank the bountiful earth than the goddess for such things. Yeah, I don't think Claude is a spiritual guidance, but she doesn't fill our bellies, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Not a very noble sounding thing to disregard the goddess and honor the land. <laughs> Leone, whose grace do you suppose humans live by? The goddess, the nobility? I'd say it's neither. It's the endless bounty of this magnificent land that gives us life. Won't hear me deny it. But who's to say it isn't the goddess whose protection makes nature thrive? I'm not the most devout person, but I'm not about to go around saying we don't need the goddess at all. 
I said she gives spiritual support, didn't I? I wouldn't go so far as to say she's wholly unnecessary. But hmm. in Elmira, Dagda, Bridget, and plenty of other places, they don't believe in the goddess. Nature is a blessing that knows nothing of borders. Oh, the goddess okay. is the goddess, and the earth is the earth. They should both be revered for what they are. Hmm. Huh. You've convinced me, Claude. Look, this is just my personal opinion. If you truly believe that everything depends on the goddess of Saros, that's your... Hey, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a believer, but I know there are those who aren't. And I, I say Claude is just a... Thinking. Giving thanks to nature and all, it makes sense. Yeah. I knew a wild girl like you would be able to get behind an idea like that. <laughs> what? Like I'm feral or something? <laughs> hey, you know, this kind of talk could be viewed as heresy if it was public. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> well, alright then. I'm sure Mercedes hey, and Marianne would be happy if, or unhappy if they heard that. Uh, uh, how about these? Just some old study notes of mine. There's a ton of them. Wow, that's quite the pile there. You sure it's all fine to throw away? I should probably memorize it by now. It's all safely stored in my brain now. Yep. If I concentrate, I can access any of it with ease. Jeez, well, what a prodigy. I, I wish I had even half your power of concentration. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, this is pretty heavy. Well, it'll be a good workout. Oh, but you were telling me not to take my training so lightly. Well, I mean... Still, can't hurt to get a little exercise in. Yeah. I'll just take it at a run. See you later. Uh, okay then. Hmm. Is that it? Uh, what are hmm? you plotting, Lysithia? What is it, Lysithia? Was there something in that pile of paper you wanted to hang on to after all? No, that's not it. There's just something I want to say to you. I'm sorry for saying your way of doing things was inefficient. You've clearly grown plenty strong, doing things as you have. Not to mention, multitasking and training in that way surely presents interesting challenges. Yeah. <laughs> well, sure. But if everyone has their own methods, then your methods aren't wrong either. All you did was share them with me, so there's no need for apologies. Still, it's probably beyond me to imitate your levels of focus and concentration. Yeah, How I think that's something only she can do. You yourself into only one thing like that. I haven't much choice. I can't waste even a single moment. Oh I my. can understand that. I'm sort of the same way. Yeah, I'm feeling not like in a way I'm not that... getting enough work done. Uh, but anyway, Lysithia has a different... You just do what works for you. Yeah. You've got something you want to achieve, right? That's why you feel pressured to study so hard. Yes. N yes. Then focus on what matters to you. Leave the rest to people who have the time for it. And hey... If you need any heavy lifting done, you know where to go. The way I see it, it's all training. <laughs> you know, Leone, you're so kind, so strong. Why, oh, Cynthia, giving out compliments? What's with the compliments all of a sudden? Yeah, usually she just is like, I hate you, you're ugly. What an incredible partner you make. Really, you've got all of the perfect qualities. <laughs> what? Partner for what? I'm not simply saying that. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs> okay. You're making me blush. What a strange way to compliment someone. What do you want to be your partner for? Just on the battlefield, I guess? Who is it? <laughs> it's Raphael just banging on the door. It's me, Raphael. <laughs> He's so happy all the oh, time, I swear. Raphael. It always makes me smile. The door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Raphael what never fails to make to? me smile. Oh, whoa. Oh, is it the necklace? What an enormous crate. And look what's in it. Crystal vials, shiny rocks. Uh huh. Man, I got this too. Oh, what a splendid flower! And so fresh. Are you planning on hey, making that necklace for second. your sister? Is that for your sister? Yeah. Yeah, I finally got my hands on something cute, just like you suggested. That's huh. so nice. But wait a second, is this that flower from Fulton's throat? <laughs> of course. I had to run to make it back in time. It was a lot farther than I thought. How did you literally so cross the entire alliance? Way? And while we're on the topic, aren't these all Myron crystals? Where are those Such located? Fine carvings on them. They must be the work of a true artisan. It couldn't have been easy getting your hands on these. 
Oh, well, Raphael just I thought it would probably advice. be training or something. You know more about what stylus than I ever could. Well hmm. done. I'm sure your sister will be pleased. All that's left is to make that necklace. Yeah, about that. Oh, he needs some help. I don't know how to put it together. I spent so long trying to figure it out that the flowers have started wilting. There oh, are no. only a few nice ones left. Huh. That's not good. And that's why you came I to Hilda for help. I'm telling you how to make it, but you can't afford to lose any more flowers. Oh, all right. Looks like it's Hilda to the rescue. I'll take it from here. Wow. Seriously? You're really going to help me? Oh no, but sure. she's going to use this as like a fuel for him. And this is definitely easier than teaching you how. But oh, okay. you owe me for this. I yep. expect to be paid back. Yep, Don't there. Don't worry yep. about that. I'll find something really nice to pay you back with. Oh, Raphael. It couldn't have been easy finding all these trinkets. He must really love his sister. Still, older brothers can be so dense. <laughs> Jeez, Hilda. As you can see, if we were to face an enemy on this terrain, I would go here, and you would go here. Ah, oh, yes, the vague hey, uh, battle strategies again. To repel the enemy, I should be positioned there, correct? Huh? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Take a closer look at this map. See, there's a graveyard over here. Might run into some of those oh my ghosts gosh. you hate so much. Claude, <laughs> shut up. Claude, will you knock it off already? So help me. If you can so, so help me. Child, I'll... Easy there. I'm sorry, okay? Just don't start blasting off any spells in here. <laughs> I'd more pride than to turn an unarmed soldier to cinders. Okay, then. It wouldn't kill you to speak to me as an equal when we're discussing matters as serious as this. Actually, I see you as more than an equal. There's no questioning the power you wield. And I was being serious about the formation just now. The bit about the ghost was just me having fun with you. Or trying to. I feel like you're, you're so just teasing smart, her, but still. Catch on to that right away. But back to the formation. Can you see why I arranged it like I did? Hmm. Gosh, I love how vague the these things are. I want you to guard requires the ability to adapt to an ever-changing situation. Oh. Who else can I trust with such a difficult task? You're my best bet for something like that. Huh. Perhaps that's true. Seems quite Get happy about that. We fought together. When have I ever treated you like a child on the battlefield? I That's true. I think Claude just likes to tease her when we're just power almost as much as I do teaches. Almost. Oh, so I'm better. Ooh, Claude. <laughs> Thanks, I Claude. You on all of Fodlum. I'd like to have my fun, but I wouldn't joke about something like that. I consider you a valued ally. Oh, Claude. Before I inevitably drift back into teasing you again. Yeah, I was. I was waiting just for it. I honestly I was. Every word. Okay. Fair enough then. From here forward, see to it that you treat me with the respect of an equal. Okay, and child. <laughs> I admit that you are not short on talent yourself, but don't go getting a big head over it. Uh, he might. <laughs> you never know, it's Claude. Okay, who wants to chat? Oh, no, it's just the Lester Lines founding day and there's a special dish. Sure, let's partake in the festivities. How are you guys doing? This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. Oh, I not expect much from the dining hall, but this does not disappoint. Come on, Lauren, just not that bad. Come on, a good thing they got motivation too. I like that. Oh, Lauren's wants to speak with me. Oh Professor, boy. Have you been looking for me again? Ah, uh, the lady's complaining I about you again. Busy, you know. I must insist that disruptions for light-hearted chats of this kind be kept to a minimum. Lauren's getting more complaints, Lauren's. What did I tell you about falling victim to such salacious and slanderous rumors? As I've told you, there is obviously a conspiracy against me. There is no manner in which I could possibly be considered bothered. There is a conspiracy against me! The girls actually do seem bothered though, Lauren. Professor, I assure you, you have been deceived. My <laughs> adversary has poisoned the hearts of these ladies against me. The plot goes deeper than I thought. Then how about you do something about it? There's no conspiracy. This is real. You need to get closure. So this could go serious issue. <laughs> I just shoot down a stupid conspiracy. Um, oh, this could become a serious issue, Lawrence. Right. Let's not get carried away. Gosh, he looks a little shocked. Please understand, Professor. 
I am not some scoundrel out for conquest. <laughs> I am attempting to fulfill my duty as heir of House Gloucester. It is my responsibility to continue our noble line by finding a suitable lady to be my wife. Yes, and you it can do that, but just don't process. go asking every my person. Has the very <laughs> highest standards for appearance, grace, temperament, and pedigree. Yes. <laughs> so commoners are excluded, huh? Typically, yes. Even if others are sometimes critical of that notion. Hmm. For the nobility, marriage is not merely a union of individuals. It is also a union of families. Well, that makes it sense in society, but... It would not Gloucester to be tied to a family of powerless commoners, would it? To hmm. achieve supremacy, it is necessary for my line to be tied to that of an influential family. Okay, that Lawrence. Is the best path to peace and prosperity for all. I so, I see you why see, you want to do that, the but of the alliance rests on my shoulders. Sure, that's a remarkable responsibility, Lawrence. It is nothing out of the ordinary. Those of us with noble blood are born to this duty, you know. <sighs> Ah. That being said, to avoid misunderstandings, I shall restrain myself until things calm down. There we go. Not cause trouble for you after all. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Okay, I think I'll have a battle here, so I think I'll be back in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit.